So once again, there's not, I wouldn't say there's one right way to do it. It's different in every classroom. I'll say frankly, there are some classrooms where the kids were really far behind, where they really just, I mean, they just need to get their basics down. And so there they might actually, they might spend some time on the computer just getting a lot of practice and doing a lot of problems. Uh, but the ideal in my mind is actually an environment where the, the technology almost, you almost don't see it in the classroom. Where instead of, you know, this is another thing you can do. Now that the classroom isn't lecture based anymore, you don't have to separate teachers into separate rooms. So instead of having one teacher with 30 students, they had seven teachers with 200 students. And so you always had a teacher there. All of the students are working at their own pace. And this is actually a, a, a school in a, in, a, in a poorer neighborhood in, in San Jose in California. And what, what's really exciting is that you, the, the kids are, they have their computers. So you do see the computers. They're working. They're working at their own pace. It's actually very similar to the video you, from, in, that you, in, from Sao Paulo. And, uh, but then if they need help, there's a, there's a you, I don't know if in the, the Apple stores here, you know, they have the genius bar where someone can help you, they set up a very similar thing where the teachers are sitting there. So instead, of the, the students go when they need help and they, they ask the teacher for help. They're also setting it up so that the uh, other students can, can staff that, that, that tutoring station. And, once a teach, when, and the students pick their next goal. They say, this week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to learn this. They do that with the teacher. And then they, they are on their own, but they have the teacher there as a resource. And then they, when they're ready, they, they line up for, there's a room where they have exams. And it's funny, because these kids are eager to go take an exam. They, once they say, hey, I know, I know quadratics, I want to go take the exam now. And so they wait in line to take the exam, and they're excited. And once they take the exam, now they're ready to start doing projects. So there's constantly projects running throughout the classroom in another room, and they can sign up for this. So once you learn these skills, you can go, you can go make that robot. Once you learn these skills, you can go make that. And so that's the type of thing I want to see, because the, the, the computer can tackle uh, a lot of the core skills. If the student is still having difficulty, the, uh, the teacher and the, the peers are there to help them. And then once they get that out of the way, they can do higher order tasks. They can build things. They can experiment with things.